We're now joined by Josh Newberg from Florida State's 24-7 site. Now, Josh, you, you've broken a lot of news over the past couple of days, reported a, a lot about Florida State's coaching staff. Who's coming to, to Kentucky, possibly? I guess we'll start at the top with Mark Stoops. He's accepted the job. What kind of coach is Kentucky getting in Mark Stoops? We think it's a great hire for Kentucky. Um, he's shown that he's a very disciplined, hardworking coach under Jimbo Fisher as the defensive coordinator. Um, he, he's got a lot of knowledge of the game coming from a, a whole family of coaches. His dad was a longtime high school coach in Ohio, which he grew up in, in that whole culture of, of football and recruiting. And he understands it not only from the X's and O's, but from the relationship standpoint as well. So we think it's, it's a perfect fit for Stoops and for Kentucky. Now, the word is James Coley, their offensive coordinator, could potentially follow him to Lexington, as well as maybe defensive end coach D.J. Elliott, who might be the defensive coordinator. Uh, what are you hearing on, on these fronts, and what kind of guys are, are those two coaches? Well, we fully expect both to be offered. Um, we've reported that Coley has been offered the job, and today we reported that D.J. Elliott will likely be offered the job on Sunday as soon as the Florida State team finishes up the ACC championship game. So... That's, uh, you know, we were not jumping the gun saying it's a done deal, but we do think it's likely both end up in Kentucky. Um, Coley, this will be his, his second time being a, a true offensive coordinator. He was an offensive coordinator at FIU for one season, but under Jimbo Fisher, he was in, in name only. He did not call the offensive plays, so that's why you see him making this move. It's, it, it actually is a promotion for him. Um, DJ Elliott, he's been Stoops' right-hand man throughout this uh, his time at Florida State. Stoops actually handpicked him in, from Rice. He was a defensive ends coach at Rice for a couple seasons, and Stoops handpicked him to come. So he's a guy that he's very familiar with. He knows that he's a great recruiter. He was a recruiting coordinator at Rice, and we think that there's a good shot that if he does come to Kentucky, he'll also be in charge of recruiting duties there. So these are both very, very well-trusted guys that have worked very closely with uh, Mark Stoops over the last three, four years. Is there, are there any other guys on that staff? I think this is all surprising to Kentucky fans. It's all been very – Mark Stoops was, was the big hire that got him excited, and each day they get more and more good news. Are there any other names on that staff that, that Stoops could try to pull out of Tallahassee? I know Damian Craig is, is a guy that a lot of people have talked about up here because he's a great recruiter. Uh, but is there anybody else that, that could potentially also be coming to Lexington? No, I don't see that happening. I mean, right now we are looking at these guys to branch out and go other places. But right now I feel that those two are going to be the only ones that come with him. Um, Damian Craig, see, he's the recruiting coordinator at Florida State, so he already holds that tag. Um, I don't see him in any position getting a promotion by going to Kentucky. So I think he ends up staying at Florida State or possibly moving on on his own to get an offensive coordinator gig, but not at Kentucky. Is there any surprise? You know, Kentucky fans are surprised by this. Among Florida State's fans or maybe the administration, any surprise that three guys that, that are very respected, one is certainly gone and potentially three, are leaving to take a job at Kentucky where it's a, a very difficult up, uphill climb to get them into contention? Well, I think the fans are definitely surprised. But if you actually sit down and you look at it, every coach that's leaving is taking a better. He's getting promoted. Um, Kentucky is a tough job. But you got to remember, these guys don't think that, that, that they're going to fail. Um, they have a plan. They've all worked closely together. So you're getting a, a core group of three guys, basically the head coach, and then the leader of the office, and the leader of the defense, that are going to come together. And they'll put a great staff together. They know a lot of coaches. Just because they don't come from the Florida State staff doesn't mean that they're not going to bring up great coaches. You, you mentioned Damian Craig. When Damian, before he came to Florida State, he was at South Alabama. So these guys know where to find great assistant head coach or great assistant coaches. All right, Josh Newberg, thank you very much for joining us. Great stuff, and uh, maybe we'll talk to you down the road. Maybe Kentucky and uh, Florida State will be playing in a BCS game. <laughs> yeah, you never know, right? You never thought Mark Stoops would be at Kentucky. You never know what's going to happen. That's right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you.